been fantastic. It has been really exciting to see just, you know, some fantastic players, both from Connecticut and Tri-State, tearing it up tonight. And speaking of, we have two fantastic Tri-State players here. Jen, you know, one of New York's old guard, been around the block for a while, recently doing very well at LMBM. And on the other hand, we have Pekka, one of Staten Island's kind of new kids on the block. Yeah, Pekko is just one of those players that like really found a home in the like with different characters and different environments, and just has found ways to steadily like add speed and add different like mix-ups and layers to his game plan. But Jen, like Jen, has this like rock-solid ideology of how he wants to play the game, and he's damn sure gonna make sure that you play that game too. It's just who's gonna exert their will over the other. Right now, it's Pekka with all of the control. Yeah, absolutely, and Pekko really picking up right where he left off at Fusion on Monday. You know, he had some fantastic wins, uh, beating Hayes, right, N newly uh, PR'd in New Jersey as well. But this is what Pekko Palutena shines, right, putting you in the corner, using these invulnerable back airs, juggling you, kind of keeping you out, forcing Pekko to just reset to neutral without flip kick and just try and find just stray hits because he's not able to really maintain any sort of advantage thing here right now. Yeah, but now we get to see the, the weakness of Diddy Kong, right? Like sometimes you can run, go out to a really strong start and play this and play this game where you have a lead and you're able to snowball. But sometimes you're sitting at 160 and that just now took the stock and only barely. Uh, Jen able to make so much damage, but now D Pekko gets a snowball a little bit here. Diddy with so much control over the neutral. And single hits can go a long way, especially with reads like that. Yeah, I love that footstool uh, down throw banana, even though Paco didn't get too much off of it. Both players just trying to, even in game one, right, digging into their bag of mix-ups. We saw that jab coming out from Jen earlier, and now both players are trying to find a way into an advantage rate, but down throw back air, gonna close it out. Out, Pekko kind of getting caught behind in there, it looked like. And now just resetting these neutral, but with 70% of extra credit to his name, I mean, don't forget, you know. the, don't forget the power team tax. Like, one of these nares could have meant a lot, but the platform on, on top of Diddy's small frame really interrupting where Jen wanted to go with that. Oh, I love the catch there. Having, having just consistent ways to catch teleport, of which uh, Diddy has, I think, like five of them yep. with both Z drop, banana toss, and uh, forward tilt, and probably others as well. Like, Palutena has to take so much care with recovery and really make sure that the recovery's higher on point on top of dealing with Diddy's insane buttons. Look at all these, like a frame five forward air, like these back airs also coming in clutch. But not, not that though, that's yeah, not great for Pekko. Pekko getting caught trying to, you know, drop down and double jump from lead, gonna get hit by a down air, closing it out. And he's done a really good job these last couple weeks, starting to mix in more flip kick grabs. A couple fusions ago, he didn't pull out any and, and he kept getting punished for it. And since then, he, we've seen him really mix his flip kick so much more and it's found such great mileage out of that top turn. Yeah, monkey flip. It, it transforms matchups, like yep. pure and simple. Like it, it is, it's a command grab, it's a massive hitbox, and it can turn any, it turns the mid range into something that everybody has to be scared of because you're dealing with a 50 50 outside of the range where you can consistently connect. And while Auto Reticle is certainly good at making Diddy hold shield, Pekka doesn't really seem to care, especially with that almost getting the DI mix-up off of the forward the down throw into the up air. Pe However, Pekka's pressure has been relentless, but there it uh -oh. might have cost him somehow going to find his way back to stage, and Jen missing the tech, he just not really able to find his way out of that situation. The momentum a little too much, carrying him into the blast zone, and I, it's going to be Pekko's game one. I think Lemony Snicket would be proud because this is just a series of unfortunate events. I absolutely agree with look, you. Look, I mean, check this out, right? Yep. We get to see the the back throw set up on ledge. This is a really great spot yep. for both drop zone, fa uh, drop zone nair or back air, uh, but hmm? oops, yep. double jump used, no tech. Yep. Bye. And <laughs> even even that being said, right, like, it l felt like Jen was almost like a little bit slow to react. It didn't quite look like he was entirely in his son when he was in the blast zone. Oh, but speaking of a little bit slow, he's not going to be there on that one. Barrel's not quite able to make it back, even post buff, and that's going to be Jen opening it up very quickly. I really like that about Jen sometimes because when Jen is actually like in a con oh speaking of oh. very quick answers <laughs> back Ubel that was a heartbreaker right there that one hit me in the soul dude <laughs> like come on shout out to uh, Ubel no, soul on Twitter not <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> some jokes are better left unsaid, Ritual, and sometimes you better, you better be ready to use that air dodge because Jen call, getting called out for doing nothing at all was, uh, I mean, a, such a statement from Pekka. Both of these two opening up, opening up a game so strong, and that's usually where Jen can really make the most out of these game twos. That landing fair air doubling as an A catch was so smart from Jen, knowing that. Diddy's panic option is going to be that banana, right? Allowing him to maintain this this advantage state and pressure in the corner here. So much, just finding so much of pressure. I love how Jen operates in long sets because he usually, like a lot of players, will like play fast game one and slow down as the set pro goes on. Jen is the opposite. He slow. He starts out pretty slow and doesn't usually uncork a lot of his like advantage state options or a lot of these like counterplay habits that he's picking up on until game two, and that's when you see the deep back airs. That's when you see the the air dodge reads. That's when you see Palutena go from just like a fast control character to a fast aggro character, and it's a very slight distinction that makes a world of difference. And we're seeing Jen right start to prioritize these bananas, and he's he's really only started to look for these down throws and these Z drops, up just using it as an extra layer of defense if Diddy tries to kind of get in and scrap. But banana extends your burst range so much for a brawler that that you know you can even from halfway across the stage find an F match close it out. Yeah. A, uh, a transcendent item that you can pull at a moment's notice, and as our as our good producer said. Um, Diddy's got nukes for hands. Just, just kills you. It absolutely obliterates you. And speaking of nukes, Ouch. that is an opportunity. Looking for the double dunk, but not going to find it. Jen now trying to find his way out of the corner and does so with Banana to boot. That could be a scary situation. Banana only with the one use now, Ubel. And Peko going to try to make the most of it. I'm just, I was expecting Jen to try and be a little bit more passive, start throwing out these auto records, but instead just a lot of empty movement right now. There it is. <laughs> Just playing at this really dangerous range where you can finally catch the banana. Using it immediately, though, always wanting to have things like dash attack on on statement. Let's see what this edge guard can give us, Ritual. Yep, and right, Peko trying to find his way out of the corner, but his delayed on the double jump, gonna get him caught the second time, though, doing the same option twice, gonna allow him to get back. Jen not ready for it on the repeat, and now just not able to win neutral, though. Jen's pressure has just kind of keeps he keeps catching Pekka's landing and forcing him to the ledge, and even now it's it feels like Jen's in control of the game, even out of the corner. Yeah, it's what Power Tanner does best, forcing a miss spacing there, but missing any sort of follow-up and good DI from Pekka to avoid the back airs uh, and to avoid the platform pressure as well. Just a lot of stray hits back and forth, you know, like nothing really doing, but Diddy Kong is always going to have an advantage in these long games, thanks to Banana extending your range indefinitely. Ab absolutely, but Jen has been a playing so patient and kind of forcing Diddy in these situations where he can only either threaten with monkey flip, just like that, or kind of jump and hard commit, but the banana gonna put a checkmate and Peko finding the 2-0 and the pop off to boot. He wanted that one and sealing it out with a 2-0. That is a statement win from for the kid from Staten Island. And it just makes sense, you know what I mean? Like, of course, Jen's a phenomenal player. Like most of the players that he's run through are extremely good on the right day. Like Peko, like win on Jazzy, win on uh, me, <laughs> and uh, like he's had a stable, solid run. But when you come up against a player like Jen, you're just forced to play this dominating neutral. And he did here. He did. He won this game right here. Being able to constantly have banana and find the windows to open, but more importantly, being able to flip the switch between an offensive or a defensive stance. He had banana, so he could always do both, but by being able to choose and decide when he wanted to be aggressive and when he wanted to be defensive, it transformed Jen's recovery routes to being extremely fast or extremely slow. Then it becomes a coin flip, and he guessed right. And 